Good afternoon, everybody. I've got uh, the Google chart, and basically, um, we went below all of the daily simple moving averages. The blue line is a 10 day, and it crossed over the 20, but has now currently um, flattened out right at that $970 mark. So basically, on Friday, we had a great trade using the weekly charts and whatnot and the standard daily. So we opened at 975, we hit that 986 on Friday options expiration. I am also going to go to a, um, the charts that I'm going to call out on are going to be Google call options at the 975 strike price on the 630 contract. And so options expiration Friday, Google had a very nice pop up to the 947 and we had a $12 and 16 penny range with $341 million going into the stock. So basically on options expiration Friday, this is a call chart and you probably have never seen one before, which is definitely okay with us. Don't worry about it. 99% of the traders have never seen it. So on Friday expiration, we had a low of 930 and we had a high of 1490 and that was a great trade. Back over here on a daily call chart on 616, the low was 520 and we had a super pop back up to 1487. So definitely the daily, uh, 975 call chart speaks for itself and I'll go ahead and I'll put it up here you can see right here 930 I had a range of 5.6 based on a $12 range in the Google stock intraday on Friday's expiration so we're going to show some other things that are important here we have a 60 minute, it's the 975 call option expiration Friday, which was 623. Now, using the 60 minute chart, you can clearly see where it opened at 970, but it is a big movement because as we went higher in, in, in the value, we can see where that 1490 was the peak. And how we use 60 minute call charts to be able to get in and out and we know what we're doing and you don't know because you don't have access and you haven't been trained on call charts or put charts. We recommend that you get here right away. Here we go everybody. You got a 630, uh, 2017, 990 foot. Now, what I am going to show you right here is this 19, 990 foot chart on Google and expires on 630. It's totally deflated. The value is totally deflated versus the other values that I showed you on the 975. The put option had a high on Friday of 1710 on expiration and dropped down to $9.16. Now, this is the side of the market that we're going to be looking at and Google and it's in the money and we can clearly see that Google made 169 highs, four lows, money flow, once again, 340 million. And this was the actual range of $12.16 pennies. How to trade calls, how to trade puts, how to understand the call chart, what is deflated or inflated. I'll go ahead again. And be happy to show you what the um, 980 call at the time was out of the money. But that that one there had a low of $6 and a high, high of $12. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to show once again is this call chart, which we already covered. And we went up to $14.90 in that one. And another thing that we're going to show is the 980 put once again out of the money and this thing went from $10.30 down to $4.90 and 
And you know what? That is the side of the trade that is super deflated. When the put options were up here at $44 and they were inflated, they were going to come down. No one's going to stop it. And the thing that we would like to bring to you is how this is done intraday. And take the free trial. You can believe what you see. Once again, this is the value of the Google trade. Calls, puts, the daily chart, the monthly chart that um, we're going to show one more time. And so it'll go to you. So it'll... here is the actual monthly chart on Google. And it's been a super big move. And yes, the um, low for June was 936. And the high was 1,008.61. And we're getting overbought. And the ranges are going to increase. This is the 980 put that's in the money that we're definitely looking at. Another one that we're going to be looking at trading tomorrow morning is going to be the following. And it's going to be slightly in the money. And once again, this is a put chart. And we can see on the put chart how low and how much it's been marked down. And why are we going to make a market in it? It's because it's getting more and more uh, deflated in the price. And we all know that you option traders have don't even see these option charts. Call chart. This is a 87.5 put chart that we're going to be trading in the morning. And once again, that is what's setting up and that is what's going to happen.